Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Olivia and I'm a cinematographer and video editor. And today I'm gonna give you a quick start guide to the Sony a7 IV. So I recently made a video about the Sony a7 IV. If you wanna see an overview and hear some of my personal thoughts on the camera, you can check out that video here or I will link it in the description below. But in this video, I wanna go over some of the key functions and show you how to get the camera up and running quickly. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start by going through the different modes that are available. Auto mode is completely automatic mode where everything will be controlled for you. So the camera will analyze the scene and adjust everything accordingly. P stands for program auto and will adjust the shutter speed and aperture values automatically. A is aperture priority mode, which means you will have the ability to set your aperture and the camera will adjust the shutter speed automatically. S is shutter priority mode, which means you will have the ability to set your shutter speed and the camera will adjust the aperture automatically. M is your manual mode, which will allow you to change all the values to exactly what you want. Once you're in manual mode, you can adjust each value by using the dial on the front to change your aperture. There's a dial on the back to change your shutter speed. And if you wanna have access to your ISO, you will press this little button on the wheel behind the camera to open up your ISO settings, and then you can wheel through these. Now I wanna go through video settings and show you how you can change everything in that mode. So to access the video mode, there is a wheel right underneath the dial on the top of the camera where you will press the button and switch it over to the little film icon. And now you're in video mode. You can adjust your aperture, ISO, and shutter speeds in the same way that you would in photo mode. So aperture is the wheel on the front of the camera. Shutter speed is the wheel on the top back of the camera and then ISO you click into your ISO settings and use the wheel on the back of the camera to move through your selections. If you want to change your resolution you can do that by going into the menu by selecting the menu button making sure you're in that first section under image quality file format and then here you can change between 4k or HD. If you want to change your audio levels, you can do that by clicking the FN button on the back of the camera and opening up this new menu and you will see audio record level. You can click on that and adjust accordingly. If you want to change your picture profiles, you will click the FN button on the back of the camera and you will look through this menu that pops up until you see picture profile. You can then click on that and use the wheel on the back of the camera or the touch screen to make your selection. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about the Sony a7 IV and how it works. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe and follow me on all of my social channels. And I will catch you in the next video.